Uh, but like if you try to use the web browser in the car, it like takes a long time to load, yeah. and that's a trash browser. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's worse than like some you know iPad from five years ago, like by a lot. After the comments of Elon Musk, we decided to make a comparison between browsers. In today's video, we're comparing Tesla's browser versus Vivaldi browser on the Pulsar 2. So let's get started. One of the first things we're going to try is the scrolling performance on browsers. So the first thing we're going to open the Valley browser and let's go to this website. It's travel of BBC and let's try it out. See, it works really well and it's really fast and smooth. Okay, let's take a look on the same page on the Tesla browser. Okay, I will say it's good, but it's not, I will say it's less responsive than the other one on Vivaldi, but I will not say it's, it's, it's bad. Let's compare bookmarks and Vivaldi. You can have both bookmarks and speed dials. These are speed dials represented by little top nails, as you can see here, and you can have many as you want and you can have them organized into folders and into subfolders. And while you're browsing, you can easily access all your bookmarks from the bookmarks panel. Okay, let's try out the bookmarks on the model tree of Tesla. I think it's really easy to add a bookmark. You just click on the little icon and you just add to your favorites and to access to your bookmarks, they show you a list. What I'm missing here, I feel is like, it's not any thumbnail or icons, it's just a list. And I, I mean, I would love to see more folders of subfolders and more organization. I will say it's cute, but uh, it's very basic in functionality. Without a doubt, one area where Revalu has to cover is the tab management. You can have as many tabs as you want open at the same time, and you can even have tab stats. Or you can also access your tabs from the tab switcher. Let's try out the tab management on the model tree of Tesla. And that's pretty easy because you can only have one tab on the Tesla browser. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's compare the ad blocker and tracking protection on the Pulsar and Vivaldi browser. As you can see, it's an ad here, but you can go and click on the shield and you can define if you want to have no blockers or you can block your trackers or you can block your trackers and ads. When it comes to ad blocker and tracking protection on the Tesla, it's not any option that actually allows you to block your ads or see if you're being tracked. So, yeah, not much to do here. Okay, let's take a look at seeing that lets you bring your passwords, bookmarks, histories, and notes with you on the go. This way, you can always be up to date. And that was our comparison between Tesla and Vivaldi browser. Let us know in the comments which feature you use the most in your car. And don't forget to subscribe to Vivaldi browser channel on YouTube. It's a lot of content that you can learn from.